bring up some key points. You're running her way. Of why we are opposed to your location. You're running her way. The site of entrance the gates has been selected without proper consultation or prior agreement of the people that will be directly impacted and those who live in much of the own area. Laying any form of claim to the site will be blatantly imposed. The, this area has been suggested intrusively by members of another community who would not be negatively impacted in any way. The, Mushaboom, the people of Mushaboom, however, would be affected tremendously. It would cause disruption in the community and drastically change their way of life. It would displace fishermen, it would require major road construction, which would require, require destruction of forests, it would also cause issues for natural local wildlife. It would displace hunters, sport fishermen, and many people that use the area for anchorage and leisure. Fishermen and recreational boaters have been using the area for generations and should not be forced out. The gate is known safe passage and a safe haven for fishermen and boaters. Any blockage will put it at risk, put people at risk. You say you will open the passage for certain periods, but how could we be assured of this? People still use their boats in cold water, colder months, and many fishermen fish year-round. Locals have told you about the issue with the ice, especially the risk of pack ice, but you don't seem to be hearing it. The whale safety would be at a great risk because of this. There are too many unknowns when it comes to the effects this could have on the lobster fishery. There are too many unknowns when it comes to the environmental impacts. People's livelihoods and the current ecosystem are not things we are willing to risk. We do not understand how anyone can be in favor or agree to something when there aren't answers to many of the most basic questions. I will list them. I don't expect you to answer them now. Where is the business plan and feasibility study? Where is the, clear, where is the clearly written definition of jobs that would be created, the qualifications required for these jobs, and the expected salaries? Where are the numbers that show the expected draw of tourists and expected gains to surrounding communities? Where is the clear description of the construction cost and the annual operating cost? Where is the clear description of how this will be funded and by who? Where is the documented agreement between the whale sanctuary and the donors or investors? Where is the guarantee that money will continue to be dispersed throughout the life expectancy of the sanctuary? Time, please. Thank you. That's your three minutes. Thank you very much. Not, I appreciate not sure exactly where we're at here, but um, where is the clear description of the construction? Did we already do that one? Yeah. Okay. Where is the guarantee that the money will? Okay. Where is the guarantee that money will continue to be dispersed throughout the life expectancy of the sanctuary? And who is responsible for the sanctuary should the funding suddenly be lost? Who will be left responsible for the sanctuary if your group was to fold, if the whales to work were to perish? Where is the environmental assessment? Who or what company name will lease the, name, the lease or license be in? Is there an involvement or previous agreement with Fin Fish Agriculture Company? A member of our group has spoken to the Minister of Fisheries for the province and we are aware of the rigorous process you will undergo if an application is granted and we are aware that you will be required to have a formal community, community consultation with the residents of Mushaboom where we will be present and revoicing our opposition, and that's for sure. Yeah. The idea has caused division in our communities, a huge amount, and has already damaged relationships. We are strongly opposed to your proposed location choice at the gate, and we will continue to voice our opposition if the process is continued here. Without, without, what else we can do? We are not willing to negotiate in any way. Our answer simply is no. You will be taking away our sanctuary. Thank you. 
this too. Thank you. Thanks, Peter. So, obviously, first of all, thank you for your comments. Also, there are a number of details in there that we cannot, in this time frame, respond to. There are strategic plans, there are financial plans, there are donors, as we mentioned. The idea of this being an avenue to end up as a thin fish aquaculture facility, though, it does bear some, some note. We receive from provincial fisheries a permit for a whale sanctuary. It is through the same agency that would permit thin fish aquaculture. But our permit cannot be transferred in that way from what we have been told by provincial fisheries. So that's a response because I have heard that a number of times. To my knowledge, it's not an accurate way that that could transpire. So that's just a piece of information as I ask the question. Please, go ahead. Uh, the first question I have, I'd like a direct answer from you. Uh, how are you going to uh, keep them from birthing? Or having young. There are contraception, there's chemical contraception processes that are used in uh, facilities around the world, and we would use those approaches. Well, I'm going to read you something that uh, from Marineland in, in Ontario. Right. Marineland states that it's difficult to prevent belugas from reproducing. There is no easy or thoroughly effective birth control medication for beluga whales. That's a, let me answer that because I've studied these animals for 30 years and I can tell you that what marine land says is probably true for them because they have 50, 55 beluga whales jammed into two tanks and it is very difficult to manage and handle that many animals in a situation like that. Here we are talking about six, five, six to eight whales who are given contraception directly in their food, right into their mouth, and there is absolutely no problem with doing that. This kind of contraception is used in large animal sanctuaries around the world. These people are saying it doesn't work. It doesn't work for them, but that's because of the extreme circumstances that they are keeping these whales under. Just one other thing. Part of the reason it doesn't work for them is because they have a breeding program. They want it. They want to breed animals. That has been their agenda. It continues to be and they're now trying to export animals so they can breed them elsewhere. The other, the other question I have is uh, you're showing your area that's fenced off. Now you're, you're, am I right in saying you're asking for 40 hectares, 99 acres? Is that the, is that the amount you're... The winter, the winter area that we've talked about before is 40 hectares, roughly 99 acres. That's correct. The summer, acre, the summer plan that you saw on that slide is roughly 25 hectares. 99 acres is one square mile. That is not one square mile. That, 99 acres is not one square mile. It's hectares. Less than a sixth of a square mile. Yeah. 40, 40 hectares is less than half a square mile. Well, what you have there, I can tell you, what you have there is not 99 acres. More or less. I, that's, I know how far it is across that channel, and I know how the length of that island, our island that we live on in Malagash is not a, not a kilometer long. And from there, across where your net is, it's a summer net, and even right across, if you go right across the channel, is not 99 acres. I have 40 acres of property that is 100 yards wide and over two miles long, 40 acres. You're talking 99 acres. Where is it? Are, are you putting a, another proposal forward to the Department of Fisheries that we don't know about? 
So, something doesn't add up here. Well, you have some measurements that are different from the measurements I have. The picture that we have drawn is the picture that we would propose. So, you know, I'll be happy to go back and redo the satellite plan and the measurements. My understanding is that the winter version is 40 hectares. So, you know, we can debate it, but it really ought to be measured and then go from there. Well, that's all my questions. Uh, and, uh, uh, um, yeah, Thank you. I live on that island, and there's no support there for, you know, except for one person. Thanks, and you need to go okay, away. Thank you. Thanks,